Have you seen an RV that has two kitchens and a bar? Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young. I promised you two kitchens and a bar, didn't I? Well, here you go. Kitchen number one. Kitchen number two, you got to wait a little bit to see, but I think you're still going to enjoy it. How about opposing slides in the living area of this 32 foot, five inch, 6,588 pound beauty known as the Crossroads RV Sunset Trail 285 CK. CK usually stands for center kitchen, but for this coach, I'm, I'm just going to call it cool kitchen because the opposing slides do give us the island right here with solid surface countertops. You'll notice you have GFCI outlets on both sides over here. So you want to set up a coffee station or buffet. You absolutely can, but it allows you to have more storage plus an undermounted stainless steel sink with a high rise faucet and sprayer. What's cool about this to me is the prep capability. Yes, you got solid wood construction on everything around this beauty, full extension on the drawer guides, tons of storage space because it is an island. And like I'm in, look, if you want to have dueling chef battles at the campsite to impress the friends that are coming to check it out, somebody's going to be grilling, somebody's going to be cooking, somebody's going to be straight chilling then you got to impress them with the bar area as well, which is what you have here because the 285 CK comes complete with a wine chiller or a bottle chiller. And it also has solid surface countertops where you can have a serving tray, bar area for bottle storage. Open this up for grab and go spots or just, a, you know, whatever you want. Large panoramic window with pleated shades. Uh, and I like the space, plus they open up to give you cross breeze as well as more light. You can get the light there, the solid wood balance, but I love how with the cabinets that are up top, Crossroads put in this smoked glass inlay here with the shaker style cabinets. It is backed, so if you don't wanna see what's in there, you don't have to. And I gotta be tell you, I kinda like that because to me, that just kind of makes it look a little bit more clean, a little bit more streamlined. Add that to the fact that we got residential style sconces for our LED lights, that's really clean. Then you have the acrylic face on your 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt Furion fridge freezer combo over here. So you can run this while going down the road, get to adjust the cool, cut it off if you want to, leave it on if you want to, because it's 12 volt. Uh, and you do have solar on this one with an inverter. so. Uh, you can run that off the power of the sun too. More prep space along your cooking surface here on the campsite. I'm a big fan of what they did with this subway looking tile here too. It's decorative, it's clean, it's streamlined. I love straight lines. I love the look and flow of this. I think my friend Trish would be crazy about it too. 16 inch Furion oven here. Oversized three burner cooktop with high output on the front as well as recessed glass cover that does double as a backsplash for your backsplash. Nothing like backsplash inception. Then high point microwave, Furion hood, more frosted glass, more drawer storage. Just why not give you more storage and you can stake a, just shake a stick at? Because when you're talking about entertaining, some RVs are made for couples and families to go out and enjoy the outdoors. Some couples, some RVs, that's perfect. They just need a place to sit and to sleep. Some people want to also be able to entertain, but also call this a second home. Given the fact that this coach has 82 and a half inch high ceilings, high output 15K BTU AC, five-sided aluminum superstructure with hyperdeck flooring, radiant barriers, and foam core insulation, this could be a deep three season coach to take you to your vacation spot. If you wanna spend a little bit of time in the mountains, a little bit of time at the beach, move it around, this, that, and the other thing. So to me, it can give you the best of both worlds, the adventure, but also the opulence of home. Storage there, pantry, whatever you wanna use it for. Then when it's time to kick back and chill, large mirror, oh, plush and comfortable Thomas Paine uh, recliners here. Now this coach will sleep four in this current configuration. You can swap this out for the height of bed, be able to sleep two more. I like how I got the big decorative mirror there. I really like what they did with my window. They continued the flow of the wood here and gave you a decorative skirting around the window. So it's not just a frame. Add that to the wood balances, the oversight panoramic size of the windows, breeze, air, boom, I got it. 
But this, to me, is what I really like. Oversized booth dinette with the easy down table. This is really cool because you can sleep two adults on this. It's 80 inches. Add that to the fact that I think it's 46 wide. And then you got the easy down table, which just has the little bar there, comes down as the support. Then you just kind of whoop, hook it back up. Leg comes down and folds in and out. Carpet free slide. You're not going to be knocking your knees under there because there's not the two bars. And I have the drawers underneath that are, get the dirty stuff. That's where it's going, kids. Okay, great space. Last but not least, before we go to the bathroom, our entertainment center. You have a high output furnace on this one, duct it in the floor. But how about give you an almost 5K BTU fireplace with electric flame and electric multi-light settings, then a 40 inch LED TV on the swivel and more smoked glass storage up top. Oh yeah, plus I'm pre-wired for 4G LTE Wi-Fi. Got my Ericsson controls right here. You got your command panel walking into the master just past the bathroom door. And yes, we'll get to the bathroom here in a second, but you can run out your slides, run out your awning, cut on your tank heaters because you do have an enclosed heated underbelly with tank pads on there, as well as your water pump. Check your battery, check your tanks. And on this one, you got 45, 60, and 30. How about that bathroom? I mean, just look at it. And by the way, that hallway is a little tight, so you gotta watch it. Uh, but you can access the bathroom while in transit, so that's a, that's a very nice feature. Um, can't get to the slide, or you can't get to the fridge because the slide is there, but um, I'll show you a trick to that outside. Remember, two kitchens and a bar. Skylight right here. Got the herringbone pattern in my shower. I got the suspension door there, high-rise porcelain bowl with the foot flush, hangers for towels and bathrobes. Love this high-end looking decorative press surface countertop for my vanity, linen storage, mirrored medicine cabinet, brushed nickel faucet, tankless water heater, and GFCI outlet that is inverted. Windows on both sides. King size bed here with strut supported storage. But what's cool, I don't know if maybe you can see it, Ryan, and might be able to pick it up. There's a blue light under there because it's a pet station under there. Water bowl, food bowl for the pets, you got it. Second 13.5 BTU AC right here in the master bedroom, love that. And how about a privacy one-way window on the front cap with the pleated shades. You got the dual USB charging, the 110, cubby space, inverted outlet up here on the off-camp side, and mirrored ward storage, plus smoked glass storage up top, once again, with the one-way glass backer on the back. And if you need more space for storage and ward, why not give you a full closet right up here on the off-camp side? Then you got your TV backer, key TV multi-source connection, and 110 outlet right there. Um, Key TV is obviously just a smart connector. When you plug into whatever entertainment is at the campsite, you'll have it. Oh, you want to see the second kitchen. Okay, let's go. You remember that privacy window in the master bedroom? Look at that. Right here in the front cap, tinted window. And add to that, that this fiberglass front cap of the Sunset Trail Superlight, 285 CK, 32 feet, five inches, 6588 on the poundage dry has a nice aggressive profile to help when you're dragging down the road that wind resistance you won't have as much then throw in we got power tongue jack up top covers for our 20 pound lp tanks battery bars and giggy box plus zamp solar connect the giggy box is great because when you want to continue to charge the battery you don't want it to drain or you just want to cut it off you got the disconnect right there. The Zamp Solar will allow you to take those briefcase solar panels, plug it in, and continue to trickle charge that battery, just extending the life of the battery and your camping season, really. PSX1 powered stabilizer jacks, both in the front and the rear. And check out my storage compartment that we have here. I'm a fan of not only the magnetic clasp, but the magnetic locking clasp. Really helps so that you don't get the head knocker if the wind is blowing outside. Finished off decorative pass-through storage. I like how the decor of this continues throughout. And underneath, you'll see that five-sided aluminum superstructure, LED light, pure sine wave inverter, plus disconnect for the solar charging because you do have a solar panel on top of this one. Heated and enclosed underbelly. 
beautiful fiberglass exterior, sealed safety windows all the way around. And what I like about what Crossroads does with their RVs, a lot of them will stop right here and then go black all the way down. This is white. Now, yes, it might get dirty in transit, so you might have to do a little extra cleaning, but that's okay. Solid step over steps leading into the main entry point, extra large awning with the LED light strip. You got the safety paw latch here for, you know, your furry friends, cause you got the little pet convenience center under the bed, extra large grab handle for your 30 inch friction hinge door, true fit slides, marine grade speakers, GFCI outlet, as well as cable connection. And yes, I promised you the second kitchen and here you go. What's unique about this? How about 154 square inches of cooking space with 8,500 BTUs of heat coming off the stainless steel Capitol Grill Radiant cooktop. The cooking area here is awesome. I always recommend wrapping this in aluminum foil, especially, especially if you're gonna do chicken or something greasy, but prep space that's metal. Cooking inside, you got the window there if you need to talk back and forth. This, this can be over the awning if you need to because the slide out is under the awning. But prep and cook space with that big kitchen that's already in there with the back bar, I'm sorry. And you might think that this might be a little bit derogatory, but this is a hang coach. If you're doing the travel to the events, if you're doing the, the kids games, or you just got, hey, we're going to go to the beach and we're going to set up a party coach. This is a great one for it because you can cook outside, grill, cook inside, cook, bake, whatever you need to do. Two kitchens and a bar. Four by four sewer hose storage. Spray port here if you want to get some outside shower action going. Water connections there behind the 751 lock. I like how they got this 250 pound ladder mounted in the middle, uh, right there where your backup camera prep is, uh, because this is a high arch coach, 82 and a half barrel ceilings, remember, on the inside, plus the rain nozzles. So having this in the middle means you're not walking up on a grade. You're walking up on the most level part of the coach. Spare tire, heated and enclosed underbelly. Other side is where you're going to see your dumps, plus the other side of the pass-through storage uh, with your outside command center. Um, and your tanks, 45-gallon fresh, 60-gallon gray, 30-gallon black. 32 feet, 5 inches, 6588 on the dry weight can sleep four as it is, or swap those chairs out for a height of bed sofa and sleep six. This is a couple's coach though. Two kitchens plus that back bar with the wine chiller fridge in a super light coach by Sunset Trail. Please leave me some comments and let me know, what'd you like about it? What'd you not like about it? Where would you take this? Would you utilize all the kitchens? What's your favorite camp recipe? What do you love making? I love just grilling pretty much everything. My three meat burgers, uh, I could see just doing all types of stuff out here, but what is your favorite? Leave me some comments down below, please. And click like, subscribe, and notify too. So next time we do one of these, you're the first one to get it. Hey, I hope you enjoy the 285 CK. Thank you for watching this with me. I'm Chris Young, and I'll see you soon. Thanks.